Hey, Popeye, are the latest. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings, greetings, viewers and subscribers. So in today's journey, we are still driving on the streets of New York. The rain is falling, so continue to sit back, continue to relax, and continue to enjoy this journey with me. Now, let me ask you something from now. Let me ask you something from now. Have you hit on the like button as yet? We are asking you from now because when you get into the stories, we are not going to stop. So, hit on the like button from now. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, remember, hit on the subscribe button as also, hit on the notification bell, then click all. So that whenever we upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified and keep on telling a friend to tell a friend. You're going to want to listen to all of the stories. Now, there is a big backlash about comments made on CVM TV this morning by this man. His name is Isaac Buchanan. He's a lawyer and he's the chairman for the PNP's Human Rights Commission. Here is what Mr. Buchanan said this morning. I want you to listen to this and share your views. Raymond. Why don't you wait? Listen. I have to say this. You, you guys knew I was going to talk about it this morning. You, you, so you made sure that you, a doctor was in the house this morning. Because I want to know, why are some Jamaicans so worried about monkeypox when they already look a certain way? That's all I want to know. It's always the people... You ever notice ugly people always worried about pretty things? Now here comes monkeypox. You want to respond or should we move on? I think we should move on to the Thesaurus Challenge. And I'm saying some of the spots look like acne and people walking <laughs> around and them face bumpy bumpy like that. So fix it, Jesus. So you heard that. What are your views? Now, into the stories. Let me correct two things from this morning's vlog. And if you haven't watched it as yet, Yes, I know it is hard to watch, but you need to watch it. It is reality. So, this morning, I had said that Scooby, that's I.L. Russell's brother, I had said that his name was Odeon Crooks, but Odeon Crooks was another gangster who was in the Alma gang, and he too was also killed by the police. Scooby's correct name is Ryan Jackson. In fact, I.L.'s five brothers... Their surname were Jackson. Ayel, the last son, was for a different father. So his surname is Russell. Also, we had said that Nadian, also known as Heather, we told you that she was the mother of two children, but she was actually the mother of three children. Her oldest child is a boy. Then Arlandi, plus she also had a one-year-old son who the child's grandfather took. Now, PNL detectives, thanks a lot. Now, this first incident, it is very, very heartbreaking. It took place at the Grand Palladium Hotel in the parish of Hanover. Yesterday afternoon, Wednesday, July 13th, 2022, about 4.30. Hear this now. That young boy on your screen, his name is O'Neill Sayers. He was five years old and he was a student at the Savannah Lamar Infant School in the parish of Westmoreland. So yesterday was O'Neill's mother's birthday. She decided on obtaining a day pass and spent her birthday at the Grand Palladium Hotel. We are learning that young O'Neill was at the kids pool at the hotel. His mother, she was at the adult pool. Now the kids pool, it closed at 4 p.m. When the kids' pool was closed, young O'Neill went to the adults' pool where his mother was. We are told that O'Neill sat at the shallow section with other children. Now, O'Neill, being very young and not used to being at places like this, he got up from the shallow part of the pool and walked off into the deep part. He got into some difficulties. Now, here is the worst part of all of this. It was O'Neill's mother who realized that her son was experiencing difficulties. She bawled out and raised an alarm. But by the time help could reach young O'Neill, it was too late. O'Neill, 
he was taken out of the pool and persons tried to resuscitate him. But like we said, it was too late. O'Neill, he was transported to the Noel Holmes Hospital in Lucy, where he was pronounced D-E-A-D. -E Sad indeed. Now, can you imagine what this mother is now going through? Can you imagine the amount of if me did know she has been saying from yesterday afternoon? We would like to say condolences to this mother. There is hardly anything that anyone can say to comfort you at this time, but be strong. May your son's soul rest in peace. Now, over in Chilani, someone else drowned, but in this case, it was an elderly person. This man, his name is Mr. Alexander Coleman. He was 76 years old and he was a pensioner. He lived in the Stuart Castle area, in the Duncan's Police area, in the parish of Trelawney. We are told that yesterday afternoon, Wednesday, July 13th, 2022, Mr. Coleman, he went swimming in a swimming pool in the area. It is said that later on, Mr. Coleman, he was found unresponsive in the swimming pool. An alarm was raised and Mr. Coleman, he was subsequently taken out of the pool by fire personnel from the Falmouth Fire Station. Mr. Coleman, he was pronounced D-E-A-D on the spot by a medical doctor. Sad indeed. Once again, condolences to the family and friends of Mr. Coleman. May his soul rest in peace. Now, we are learning that a 40-year-old teacher of the Bickerstead Primary School in the parish of St. James, her name is Miss Brenda Lee Ratigan. She is currently in a serious condition in hospital. This is after she was hit down by a silver Toyota Mark X motor car along the Copperwood Main Road in the Anchovy Police area in the parish of St. James. This took place on Tuesday morning, July 12, 2022, about 9 o'clock. We are told that Miss Ratigan, she was walking along the Copperwood Main Road when the driver of the silver Toyota Mark X somehow ended up losing control of the Mark X. The car swerved to the sidewalk, hitting down Miss Ratigan. We are told that Miss Ratigan, she received serious injuries to include broken limbs. She was rushed to a nearby hospital where she has been admitted, like we said, in a serious condition. We will be keeping you updated as soon as we get additional information. Now, in this next story, the Westmoreland Police, they have released the photograph of that man on your screen. And they are saying he's wanted for murder. Now, his name is Francel Lawrence. He's popularly called Six R. Bujo. The murder that Bujo is wanted for is one that we carried on this channel. It took place in the early morning of Thursday, May 26, 2022 at Roaring River in the parish of Westmoreland. In that incident, O'Neill Radney, otherwise called Price or Tilly P. He was 22 years old. He was shot and killed. And another guy who was also in the house, he's known as Brogard. He was shot and seriously injured. Also, remember, we told you that the farmer, Westmoreland, most wanted man, Shalando Manning, also known as Bull, he was arrested and charged in connection with this incident. The police are saying that Bojo, he frequents areas such as Lagood in the Withan police area as also Sheffield. Now, Bojo, the police are searching for you. You need to contact a lawyer, a JP, a pastor or anybody else who you trust and make arrangements to go in go talk to the police. Now, this next incident, it took place at Hugalien in the Narwood area in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. We are learning that a man, his name is Adrian Henderson. He was 37 years old and he was a welder. He lived at Hugalien. Now, we are told that Adrian, he was last seen alive at his home on Monday, July 11th, 2022, sometime after 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, yesterday, 
Wednesday, July 13th, 2022, sometime after 3 o'clock. Adrian's neighbors, they smelled a foul odor coming from his house. As a result, the police were informed. Now, when the police entered the house, they saw Adrian laying on his back. He had a stab wound to his abdomen and his body was decomposed. Adrian, he was dead. We are told that the police processed the crime scene and they are carrying out investigation to find out who might have killed Adrian. The mayhem. Now, in the final story for today, we went on Facebook and we saw this post. I'm going to read it. It says, Sometimes it's hard to understand that we are so much in control of destiny. Some people believe our lives are already written. The choice of the road on the left or the road on the right is ours to make. We wake up and we leave our beds with the expectations to return to it. But the day always comes when expectation becomes no more. So many lives taken early, some would say. Others believe it was already written in the stars and only God is privileged to that book. Today I remember you, the joker full of life. You were never really pushed to your potential, yet you touched the lives of many of us and I am proud to be one of them. If anyone should ask me what was Fido like, I would tell them that you were a sensitive soul. You were very emotional and only a few of the chosen were ever truly allowed in. Your tough guy image was just for show. I called you a son and you did for me like I did for you. Yes, I loved you like one of my own. Today, your family and friends will have to learn to continue without you. That is the sad part. The other side of it is that you are at peace and your final journeys begins today. Rest in peace, my son, Roland Frey. And to the family, I want you to know that many of us stand side by side with you and we grieve with you. Let your faith in the Almighty carry you through as you face this tough life. Peace. Now, the incident that this person is referring to. It took place last night, Wednesday, July 13th, 2022, about some minutes after 9 o'clock. It took place along the Blue Hole Main Road in the Anchovy Police area in the parish of St. James. We are told that that man on your screen, his name is Roland Frey. He was popularly known as Fido. Now, Fido, he was 30 years old and he lived at a place named Johnson Common in Bickerstead in the parish of St. James. We are learning that Fido, he was walking with his girlfriend along the Blue Hole Road when they were surprised by a hoodlum who had a gun in his hand. Bam bam bam! The hoodlum opened gunfire at Fido. He was hit in his head and his upper body. The hoodlum, he then made good his escape on foot in the area. Luckily, his girlfriend was not harmed. The police were called and when they arrived on the scene, they saw Fido. He was lying on his side along the roadway. He was bleeding from his head and his upper body. Fido, he appeared to have died on the spot. Now, when this crime scene was processed, we are told that three 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem continues blessed love everybody tell a friend for tell a friend for tell a friend about papa in news link and pnl blog tv like subscribe and share quick silver sin if we just unite what a country this will be if we just unite jamaica live in unity if we just unite what a country this will be Jamaica, 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 Jama
Murder. 